Do you wanna learn how to make an awesome mascot logo for your stream just like this using Canva? Let's go. Hey, welcome to this three-part series where I'm teaching you throughout this series how to make three different logos for your Twitch stream or your Kick stream or YouTube, wherever you like to stream. I'm showing you how to make logos for those. And there will be a follow-up series where I'm teaching you how to make layouts in Canva for each of these individual logos. In the first video, I showed you how to make a lettermark logo. In the second video, I showed how to make a badge logo. And this is the third and final one where we're showing you how to make a mascot logo. If you want links to any of the other ones, they'll be down below. With that said, let's get into today's video. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I'm your content cleric. Around here, we make videos just like this to help you level up your stream using free and simple tools like Canva. All right, first thing you wanna do is open up canva.com. If you don't already have an account, create one and then dive in. Hey, but if you don't have Canva Pro, I have a link down in the description for a free 45 day free trial of Canva Pro. If you wanna give that a shot, you don't necessarily need it for these tutorials, but it sure makes it a lot easier, okay? So now that you're on Canva, we're gonna go ahead and type in mascot logo. I'll show you how to make one completely custom in mid journey in just a few minutes, but let's start with what is already in Canva, okay? So when I'm talking about a mascot logo, this is what I'm talking about. These logos like these that have some sort of mascot with them, whether it's a little bear, a fox, uh, a person, right? A phone, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know that I would call that a mascot logo, but it is here, right? This is what I'm talking about when I call a mascot logo. Mascot logos are not my favorite, but I'm a much more simplistic, minimal designer. If you're new here, I'm a gamer and a streamer, but I've also been a graphic designer for 12 years. And, and so uh, I've been designing for a long, long time. Right, so the way we're doing this series is I went ahead and generated up some uh, usernames using ChatGPT. I generated up five and then I was like, hey, choose three of those for me and it did these three. Uh, we did Blaze Storm as the lettermark logo. We did Vortex Gamer as the uh, badge logo and we're doing Cyber Ninja, Cyber Ninja as the mascot logo. So let's think about this for a minute. As we're going through, we definitely want something Ninja-y I like this style of logo. I think this this is a really, really cool, but then I need a ninja to go in it. And so actually, let's try it. You know what? Pixels are free, right? We're gonna hit customize this template. Um, and I believe I saw this is a pro template, so you would actually need Canva Pro, but I got you covered down in the description. Uh, free 45 day free trial. All right, so let's start here and I'm just gonna go under elements here and I'm gonna see if I can find a ninja, right? So I'm just gonna type in Ninja. A lot of stuff's gonna come up. I want specifically graphics, and I need something that fits this style. I see one immediately. I think this one fits this style pretty well. So let's delete out this Cobra. And let's add this guy in here. I feel pretty good about it already. So we're gonna go and type in, uh, what was his name, Ninja something? Cyber Ninja, all right. Cyber Ninja, right? Cyber Ninja, and we're gonna say, we're just gonna delete this line. We don't need this line. We're gonna say, when do we start streaming? We started streaming in 2020 because pandemic. And then uh, what is a good catchphrase for Cyber Ninja? Let's do strike fear, strike hard, right? I don't know, you, you guys work this one out. If you have a catchphrase, hopefully you already know what it is. Uh, I'm gonna adjust my curvature just a hair so it fits. I wanted it to come down like it's almost hitting these 20s is it was the goal and I don't think we're there. So let's, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna actually to grab this, hold down shift and tab it out just a hair, tab it out just a hair. I think that, so there we go, we are, that is one logo already. I'm gonna adjust size because I really want it to come into the, the edges here. So I'm actually gonna hit Shift R and this actually brings out my rulers because now I can come right here to the edge and I can set up these rulers so I can make sure that my text is perfectly centered. This only matters if you are as critical as me and I am, so just like that, right? So there we go. That is, uh, and then I can just click on these and we can delete the guides. I thought, just kidding, can't delete the guides. I'll just drag them off. So there we go, we have one logo ready to go. So that is Cyber Ninja. So let's go ahead and hit add page. I'm gonna actually just look for a Ninja logo real quick, just, just to see what we have here already. That could work easy, right? This is definitely hardcore leaning into the Ninja route. So just be ready, you're gonna be compared to Ninja if this is your logo. Let's be honest, that's awesome, right? That is, that is cool. And that was like three seconds at the most. There's this. When you get into the mascot logo, it's gonna be hard to be unique. I will say that uh, if you use any of these because well, so many people are using them. 
but this is definitely an option. You could absolutely do this. I'm not gonna do this because I'm unique. That's what my, my, my wife tells me anyway. Uh, I'm gonna jump over here. I'm gonna jump into mid journey and I actually wanna do a, a pixelated style. And so here's what I'm gonna type in. I'm gonna say a fierce detailed pixel ninja face, simple, minimal, uh, on a blank background, right? Obviously make this work for whatever you're doing. That is the prompt I'm gonna try. And it may take a few minutes. If you guys have seen me do mid journey stuff or, or AI stuff, it takes a few prompts to get what you want. Um, I'll scroll up while it's doing its stuff and show you what I had previously made. This is the one I ended up going with, but you can see as I went to this, it was very Lego-ish and I wanted more fierce. I considered this one, but I wanted it to be a little more playful. Uh, and so I just redid the prompt and this is what I ended up with. None of which was pixelated except for this one. So that's the one I went with. Uh, this time I wanna try uh, to get just a, a face and we'll see what we get. It's so far so good. Hopefully the pixels stay. Um, there's a little bit too much detail in the face and so I may take out the word detailed because I don't necessarily want the face. I guess maybe I want the head. So to be completely honest, these all look really good. I think this one looks amazing, but it's weird that the eyes are not pixelated, like the head and mask are, but the eyes and stuff are not. So that's a little weird. Either way, none of these are really what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna try to generate up uh, another one. So after a few minutes working in here, I'm not really getting what I want and I don't wanna spend the entirety of this video working in mid journey. So I'm just gonna go back with the one that I had originally created using this prompt right here. Do with it what you want, play with your prompt, spend some time on it. I just don't have the time to spend on it. I have some editing I gotta get done today. So um, this is what we came up with. We'll use that one that we have right there. Let me click back over here to Canva and I have a few tricks that I want to show you. But before we do so, let's just say that is you know what we made. Um, clearly, it's not exactly what we want. We want uh, to remove this background, which Canva makes is very easy. You're just gonna hit edit photo and hit background remover, just like that background is gone, right? Pretty much done. So the next thing that I wanna do, because just throwing some text on top of this guy is probably not gonna make it feel like a logo. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go to my elements and I wanna go down to the frames like this and I wanna find something, I don't know, that gives me a cybery or ninja-y feel. I don't know, I'm just going for feel here, right? This one is really cool. I'm gonna probably use that one. Let's just, uh, let's look for a minute and we'll come back to it. Actually, you know, this one kind of looks cool, right? So let's say we take our ninja and we put it inside of there. We're gonna double click and I'm gonna size him up a lot. I'm gonna actually zoom out just a hair so I can size him up even more. Cause I really do want it to still be more of just his head. So that I think looks really, really, really cool, right? And so we have this pixelated ninja. It looks like he's been all cut up because he's a ninja. Oh wait, you see the star here that's already pixelated? Let's create a new, a new frame real quick. We'll put him in the star, right? Something like that. That has a neat feel to it. Um, I think I like the other one with the like kind of cut ups a little better, but you can go over here in your frames and just look around and see what you can find. Something that might look cool with him kind of, you know, tossed in it. I, I don't know, just something other than just him sitting there. But if that's what you want, then by all means, go for it, right? So we're gonna we're gonna delete this one. I liked that one because it was like, it was pixelated, but you know, it's fine. We're gonna go with this one, but I wanna go with a different type of typography. So let me show you a whole new website. If you made it to this point of the video, you get the insider scoop, okay? Uh, so I started out with a website right here NGFTO, and I clicked on this one because I liked this font right here, and it brought me to this website. So this is the website we're gonna start at if you wanna use this style, uh, en.logotextom.com, that's, that's the website. Now I found a few of these other ones, and so maybe later on I'll make an entire video about these for like text effects, but for this particular logo tutorial, we're gonna be using this effect right here, this game time effect, this neon games logo, and that looks horrible. I realize that, so go with me. We're gonna type in Cyber Ninja, right? Um, and already, I think this pixelated font is really cool, but as I played with it, I found another one that I thought was maybe just a little, a little cooler. And so this is the one I ended up going with, uh, but this actually I think looks cool too, but let's, uh, let's look through our fonts just a little bit. That is upheaval if we want to come back to it, but we can go through and try some of these other ones out. And there's a lot of really interesting fonts in here. I will say that. Here's like the Sportum font. If you want that, that is that is cool. Go with some script. Lobster used to be like the most famous font in the world for a long time. 
All right, let me look for just a minute. I cannot find this font, guys. So that's one thing I will say. These fonts don't seem to be in any sort of order that makes sense. It, they're not alphabetical or anything. So that's a little aggravating. Can I just type it in? No, okay. So, okay, for, for the sake of, of time, I'm gonna use the one that I made previously, but I'm just gonna choose a font that looks good and show you the rest of how to do this, right? Uh, so, okay, let's say this is the font you wanted to go with. Good, you have it set, but if you save it, it's gonna save it with this background and even Canva's background remover cannot help you when you have like this neon style. So let me show you, if you hit right here, which there's all sorts of settings, by the way, guys, we can go into textile, we can italicize it, we can set it to, to align wherever you want, we can round the corners, right? I don't know exactly what that's doing, but anyway, we're not gonna worry about it. Uh, a lot that you can actually do here. You can make it 3D or not, right? So get in here, play around. I think that you could have a lot of fun with it. Here you adjust your, your colors and stuff, but I'm good. I'm gonna keep my colors exactly how they are. I'm gonna hit my background here and you can see I can change the background color uh, to you know whatever I choose it to be. But what I actually want it to be is I want it to be transparent. So I'm just gonna change this to zero. And now I have a transparent background. So when I hit save, I can click back over here into Canva and I'm just gonna go to my uploads and I can just drag that in here and you'll see that now I have it and it is a completely transparent background. And so this is a really cool text effect that unfortunately at this point you cannot do in Canva. You can do some things, you can get close, but you can do it just like this and it was really easy. So um, I'm actually gonna use this one. Oh, make sure you don't drag it into the frame. So I'm gonna make sure I put it down here underneath the frame, size it out, I'm gonna bring it up sort of like this and add a little rotation to it and and do, I don't know, something like that. I just wanted to show you guys that text effect so you just have another tool in your belt that you can use and play around with. Uh, but if I were actually designing this logo, I wouldn't actually use that style. I would actually just put in some text here and I would type in his name, drag it down here, make it bigger, center it up, change the color. Uh, probably gonna grab a color out of here, maybe this darker gray color, something like that. Go all caps. You guys kind of know my style. You know what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna pick, we'll go with a pixel because he's already pixel, but I want it to be kind of clean looking. We're just gonna go back with Arcade Gamer here. Uh, I use this font quite a bit. I'm gonna size it down. I may even bring my rulers out so that I'm coming right to the edge of the where the graphic actually is. Something like this and get it really close. Right, and maybe I'm doing something like this, or maybe I'm gonna come into my effects here and I'm gonna add a little bit of curvature to curve around, something like this. And now I can, I think I can size it up some. And, and I, you know, I have something kind of cool happening here. Maybe I go under effects and I'm gonna put a shadow, kind of a border on it. And I want this actually to come out and be, maybe if I'm bringing a color in here, uh, I would use that. But since I'm not, I'm just gonna grab like maybe the color, maybe this light gray color that's here. Just like that, I want my transparency, I guess not all the way up because that looked crazy. I want my direction, I think it's pretty good. I want the offset to be a little bit more and I want this to be a little lower. I could come in and do something like this and I'm entering the realm of a an interesting mascot logo. I wouldn't say it's like necessarily like a clean logo, but it, it's interesting. This is a way that you could, if you spend some more time on it, you could come up with something really, really cool. But of course there's already a lot of pre-made stuff in Canva for you to use to come up with a stinking cool mascot logo. But anyway, guys, that is this video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you make something incredible. Uh, if you do, make sure you join my Discord and go to the share your art section and post whatever you make. I love to see what you guys make. Make sure you check out the other videos in this series. If you didn't watch part one and part two, um, I'll have a link over, I guess, over here in the card somewhere, uh, also down in the description. And if the overlay videos for these are out, um, I'll pick my favorite one from each, each logo uh, video I did and I'll make an overlay based around it. And so make sure you sub so you don't miss that one. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss it. And I'll see you in the next one.